Why hello everyone, this is King David MC, aka just King David. I'm here to show you today how to add your plugins to your bucket Linux server, preferably CentOS, because that's what we all love. So you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need your putty, which is a SSH client for Linux servers, and also you're gonna need your FileZilla so you can SFTP. So first off, let me show you how to SFTP. Real simple, just take your Linux, CentOS VPS, your Ubuntu VPS, your Debian. I don't know why the heck you run it on any of those. But <laughs> basically, you know, you got your root information right here, you got it from your VPS seller. Uh, so you take your IP, copy that, and if you, any of you wise guys think you're all cool, oh, I got I got King David's <laughs> server information, well, guess what? As soon as this video is over, the server is going to be deleted. So, anyway, once you're in FileZilla, I'm going to exit this, you're going to click this little guy up here, open the site manager, and you're going to not click that, you're going to click this. Then you press new site, you put in your IP address at the top, then this is a must, must do. You have to change this to SFTP. Then you have to change this to normal. And you're going to want to copy your root password. And once again, this is another must. You're going to need to go root. And then you copy, I mean, you paste your root password. You press connect. It's going to ask you if you'll allow the host. Press always. I already did that. So anyway, here's what it's looking like. Real simple and such. I haven't even started the server yet. So I that's just a quick tut on how to connect your SFTP. So now let's show you how to do the putty. So you take your IP address, you paste it here, you press enter, it's gonna ask you if you accept this host key, say yes, definitely. Now you're gonna need to log in as root, and in order how to paste on putty, you simply just right click with your mouse once you've already copied your root password. So you just right click, you press enter, and voila, you're in. So, what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to do sh. No, 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 no. Yum install screen. You guys' server will already probably be this far in progress. Okay, it's already installed. Good. So, we need to do screen sh minecraft.sh. So, look at that. Just starting up. Now, if, I, if you see me uh, refresh it over here, now you'll see we have our plugins folder. Yay! which will be a key part in adding plugins to your server which is really simple really easy but you know not everyone can figure out how to do it which is no problem with that um one thing that it brought to my attention by one of our my viewers who left a comment he actually tried to use his console information to sftp into his server you have to make sure you don't use your console information from your vps provider you need to actually use the information that was given to you so the ip you connect to with on minecraft is the same ip you sftp with not the console ip some of you might not know what i'm talking about right now but some of you will Anyway, so let's wait for it to be done preparing the spawn. Almost done. 97. Done. Yay. Okay, now let's do stop. Do, 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 do. Alright. What are you doing? Come on. How long is it going to take you? Okay. So, we got that going. And now, let's add a plugin. Well, you can. I'll show you this just so you guys don't think you have to turn off your server. Um, just let's start it up. Screen sh minecraft.sh. So let's start it up and let's look for a plugin. Now everyone loves to have essentials on their plugin. Who doesn't? Go on bucket.org, press the plugins, let's type in essentials. Essentials is literally a center to run a server because it has all the plugins you I mean not all plugins, all the commands you'd ever want to use. So let's just download the newest version. That's all you need. Newest, 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 newest. Save. Alright, so now we have that. Now this is pretty much everything they supply you with. You got your essentials group manager, spawn, protect, GOIP, chat. Um, the only thing I use is essentials.jar and essentials group manager. Group manager is a lot more advanced. Uh, it's so you can know you have your admin group, your mod group, your VIP group, your donator group. But all you guys need today is just essentials.jar. All you gotta do is once you're connected on FileZilla of course, go into your plugins folder and you just simply drag in essentials.jar yay it's uploading uh... don't mind my slow internet anyway so let's exit out of this rar you will need rar to open that or maybe it's just a dot zip let's see 
No, it's just a zip. Never mind, you don't need ruin WinRAR. So, now you got your essentials.jar in there, and you're like, Hey, the plugin's not working, man. So, once... Well, actually, let me exit out of this. Um, let's just close out of PuTTY, because my control X didn't work for some reason. And let's copy the IP. So, your server's running, you just added your plugin, and you're like, Hey, man, how do I get this plugin to work? So, log into your server on PuTTY. You don't have to do what I just did, if you're already there. You're going to type screen dash r real simple you're back into your minecraft server and you just type reload so oh wow you're not gonna let me reload oh my god so since it's gonna be a pain in the butt <laughs> let's op myself okay so let's so once you're an op on your server since it won't let me do it in the client the putty client let's just connect to the server and i'll show you how it's done <clears throat> Alright, so we're in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all you gotta do is you just type slash reload, and if you'll see here, it just went reloaded. Um, so let's exit out of the server, and now you'll see if I go like these, refresh. Look at that, it's an essentials folder. folder. Oh, I just said that like a dummy. Anyway, so now you have your essentials plugin installed I don't know why I exit out of Minecraft so go back into your Minecraft well you don't have to do this but this is just to show you that hey it works yay so connect to your server oh bad login what are you talking about oh my god whenever that happens you just close your Minecraft and open it back up it has nothing to do with the server it's just silly silly Minecraft I think I actually might have to do with the mods I have installed who really knows but let's see I'll pause this video until I can log into Minecraft Okay, and we're in. So now, you see, we don't just have to do the regular ones. We can always do slash I, TNT, ha 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 ha, put TNT over here. Um, <laughs> where you, you know, you got your slash I commands, you got, um, what other essential ones? You got time, day, or you can do slash time, no, you know, why not that, huh? Anyway, uh, so this has been a tutorial by King David, how to install plugins on your craft bucket server, aka bucket. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please comment, rate.